There's a saying that people's eyes are bigger than their stomachs, meaning that some people tend to put more food on their plate than they can eat. What they don't say is that overestimating your appetite can come with a cost to the environment. If food waste were a country, it would be the third highest emitter of greenhouse gases after the United States and China, according to the UN. And some are turning to nature to find a much needed solution. In Singapore, one startup has enlisted an army of food waste fighters to take a bite out of the problem. Literally, these are black soldier fly larvae. They can eat up to four times their weight in food waste each day, according to insect farmer Chua Kaining. Chua co-founded the startup Insecta in 2017 to combat Singapore's mountain food waste, which has increased 20% over the past decade. Many people don't think about what happens to their food at the end of its lifespan. It gets dumped in the incinerator and ends up on our landfills. It's very polluting. And we harness the power of the black soldier fly to convert these food waste into their body mass. The 26-year-old says she feeds the larvae eight tons of food waste a month, leftovers from soybean factories and breweries that are normally destined for landfill. The flies are flash dried into animal food and their waste becomes plant fertilizer. The black soldier fly is so well suited for urban farming. They reproduce really fast, they grow very quickly and they're not a pest. They don't bite, they don't sting, so they really are a helper to us. Insecta is one of a growing number of farms around the world that rear black soldier flies for agricultural products. While scientific studies are ongoing to better understand the consciousness of insects and how to farm them more humanely, Chaw believes it is more ethical and sustainable than rearing livestock. Insects need less land, water and energy to grow. And Chua says the startup is now developing new black soldier fly products without even killing the insects. When we were studying the black soldier fly, I think the question at the top of our heads was, what more value can they bring to us? Working with a government lab, Insecta is creating technology to extract materials from the cocoon shells the flies leave behind when they become adults. Materials like chitosan, known for its antibacterial and anti-inflammatory properties. We're working with a company that makes face masks to incorporate an antimicrobial layer to stop the spread of germs. We're also working with a cosmetics company to incorporate the black soldier fly chitosan inside their moisturizing creams. Insecta is also extracting melanin, a pigment worth hundreds of dollars a gram, which can conduct electricity and is harmless to the human body. Our hope with melanin is that one day we may be able to replace heavy metals with a biodegradable and organic conductor that goes inside implants, electronic devices that will help us in our biomedical industries. The first products are still in development with scientists and manufacturers. But the market for black soldier fly materials is expected to reach $3.4 billion by 2030. That's according to industry research. And Chua thinks the industry is only just beginning to tap into the black soldier fly's potential. Others in Singapore agree. Nalini Puniamurthy is investigating how to breed flies that can recycle food waste more efficiently in cities. So one of the biggest challenges of having a black soldier fly facility is the reproduction of these flies actually needs to be in large cages. So in Singapore, where space is an issue, that becomes a challenge. So we have done selective breeding so that these flies can breed in actually much smaller spaces. Punia Murthy is working with local communities to pilot these compact recycling powerhouses. She thinks black soldier flies can become a solution to urban food waste across Asia and even a source of food for humans. For many though, there's still a disgust factor associated with insects that Chua says is hard to overcome. As a society, we have been programmed with a stigma against insects and we can't look at all insects with the same lens. By spreading the word, both Chua 
and Punia Murthy hope others will see the big potential of this little food waste fighter.